Well, I had John B on my show. And John B was telling me how him and Pac were working on Are You Still Down two weeks before Pac passed. Were you with him during that time? Yeah. You were in the studio with, with him I was and John. there that day they did that record. Okay. And he was kind of describing the situation where Pac, I guess, took his shirt off and he had the the bullet holes. And I guess he was talking or maybe he was talking to John about it, you know, and it's mm-hmm. like the, the, the wounds were relatively, you know, they weren't completely healed yet and so forth. And he just remembers the imagery of, of that type of thing. Um, what was that studio session like from your point of view? Um, you know, I, I know uh, Pac was excited to work with John B to be able to show another side of him himself as an artist, you know what I mean? Because he was in all kind of music, you know what I mean? And and if, if I believe if he had the opportunity, he would have wrote all kind of music. Like he was already playing with, you know, what we know is Drake now, different styles, singing and rapping at the same time. He was already starting to play with those styles already. You know what I mean? Different melodies while you're rapping, what's popular right now. So, you know what I mean? This was this was an opportunity for him to work with an established artist and be able to show that, you know, I'm not just gonna get on here and rap, I'm gonna actually create a whole song with this guy. It's a love song. Mm-hmm. Point blank period, that that is a love song. Uh, and has Pac ever worked with a white artist other than John B? Mm, that's a great fucking question. <laughs> I just like I just realized the camera, it. you might be you might be right. That is the only white artist yeah. he has av- ever collaborated with right. in his entire life. And Inter- one of his only R and B features. Yeah. That he ever got a chance to do. Right. Although, you know, Aaron Hall. Well, he had a lot Those of Those were his records. Yeah. Yeah, those were his records. How do you want it on him? Yeah, no, yeah, he's always had R and B. I mean, like featured. Yeah, Yeah, he's always had R and B guys on his girls on his uh, hooks. I always thought it was dope that John B reached out. You know what I mean, and wanted to do a record with Pac. You know what I mean? I took a lot of balls at that time. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Yeah, the only white person he's ever. Yeah, and they actually sat down and did that record together, wrote it, everything. You know what I mean? And we got to see how talented John B actually was. You know what I mean? We wasn't in the studio sitting there the whole time. We would be in and out. But, you know, I know by the end of that song, um, I remember hearing it like, yo, this is out of here. This is, this is crazy. Wait till they do the video. Whoever this dude, I didn't know who John B was at the time. I'm like, whoever he is, he about to be out of here. <laughs> right. <laughs> he he had already had a platinum album or a multi-platinum sure. album. He yeah, was baby I, got, fa- I got hip to him later. Yeah, he was Babyface's yeah. protege. Yeah, no so. doubt. They had that one record where it's hard to tell who's Babyface yeah, and who's yeah, him. They, they, they sound so forward. similar. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 